Hello guys, and welcome back to another horror game. I'm your host, Christianado, and today we are going to be playing the game Horror Veil Act 1. This seems like a cute little scary game. Why am I yellow? Is a work of fiction, any similarity to any person's living to uh, Oh, wow. I might turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Okay. Greetings! Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and everything else, to the Carnival of Lost Souls. I am your ringmaster, Bo. Today, we have a tale to tell. A most frightening tale, the likes of which have never been told before. A tale about a young girl named Dallas, her dog, and an adventure beyond your wildest imagination. It is said, as part of many cultures and beliefs, that there lies a place Deep below the Earth's crust, we call it the Underworld. The Underworld is a scary place where the most fiendish and gallish of monsters and hooligans live and roam freely. However, within this spooky realm lives a small valley and town simply known as Horror Vale. It is here where menagerie of ghostly creatures have found a place to call home. As previously mentioned, our story follows a young girl. Her name is Alice. Alice is a student enrolled at Horrorville High, where she practices witchery. Alice is about to embark on an adventure beyond her wildest imagination. Soon, everything she has ever known shall be turned upside down. What will happen? Quite frankly, I'm just excited as you to find out. Let's begin, shall we? In Horror Vale. To zero. Absolute, absolutely breathtaking. Mandible Skullson is your favorite musician. His smash hit about being in a human movie is incredibly ironic. Got a bottle of the flu. Okay, bottle of the flu. Okay. It is a collection of books about plants and potions. Looking pretty good. You know, for dead girl. To those unaware, this is a television. By some miracle, it displays moving pictures. It's your Spook Nintendo 66. Do you love to play Scario Party 3 with Scruffy? Of course, he just controls a CPU, but it makes you feel less lonely. It's Missile Fuzzles. It's Scruffy's bed. He usually sleeps on your bed, though. It looks like your online friend, Bloodrog U666, sent you a link on TOL Instant Messenger. You open the link, and of course, it's that dumb song by Trick Gaslighter. 
Nice one. I tripped Ghastly again. Just a couple of textbooks from school. Sometimes you like to read them just for fun. You're not weird, that's normal. You can hear screams echoing across the porch. Black, black sky. There's blood splattered across the pavement. What a beautiful night. Okay. Hey, there's my zombie dog. I feel like the house might be dangerous today. I can't remember how to battle. I think a, there's a game manual in the, bat on the bookshelf. You pull out the game manual and flip to the page about combat. Attack. Use the most basic attack. Welcome to the horror, to the world of Horror Vale. In Horror Vale, you may find yourself in a situation where you need to fight. In that event, there's a few things I need to know. Let's quickly go through them. Not like you can. Who reads manuals anymore? I see that tab with the walkthrough pulled up. You disgust me. Death points when they run out. Your body falls apart. Game over. Fear points. These let you use abilities. Make sure you can serve them well. You can attack these abilities. God, use an item from your inventory. We're escaping. <clears throat> Little baby, you. Complete with purple onesie. What a cutie bones. Oh. Uh, this is no fake plant. These are real homegrown eyes. Cool. It's locked. No, there isn't a key or secret switch somewhere to open this. I'm serious. This is your dad's room. No way of opening it. Okay. I'm a Got no abilities. Alice got. Ooh. An excellent hit. I. I did that. What did I get? Wait, the ghost? Listen, see? I've got a good outfit here, see? We're gonna keep haunting this place, see? Anyway, here's this month's rent, see, Alice? You got 40 pieces of candy? Cool. So, uh, I've been trying to get the boss to uh, quit smoking. Doesn't he know it can kill you? I mean, you already a ghost, so. Some ghosts look like a bed sheet, while others look normal. What's up with that? Where does distinction lie? At what point after death does death decide who gets the bed sheets and who gets legs? What about a bed sheet ghost with legs? That would be just be ridiculous, right? Look out. Your dad, your dad always shows off with trick shots. You win every game, but you have a feeling that he lets you win. That would never happen in my house. My dad never let us win anything. We always had to earn a win. The ghosts left all of these boats disorganized. That's awful. You don't have time to fix this. This, the chess pieces are arranged like a game of checkers. 
You don't think they know how to play. Off to school, Alice. Your father left already. I saw him running around through various rooms before he left. I think he locked you in again. That guy really loves puzzles, huh? Trophies from various gardening competitions you've won are inside the house. On top, two wooden sites. It's not unusual for necromancers to have tons of death-related de decor in their homes. So you're an ancient necromancer. It's you and Dad. He's always been conveniently camera shy. Cool. Is that Mom? Your middle school graduation. Top of the class in biology, witchery, and literature. There's a clump of hair clogging the drain. Huh? Obtain 20 candies. Why is this in the bathroom? No need to wash your hands. Um, skeletons don't use the bathroom. No need to wash your hands. Several drawers filled with various things such as clean towels and new soap. Wait a second. Okay, I'm a little slow. Neither skeletons nor ghosts have hair. And I don't know if zombie dogs have hair either. That's strange why. Book emerged. Cannot attack. Alice attacks. Book is slain. The true winner here is calcium. It's a good one. I can feel power in my bones! Man. It's pretty nice. What did I get? Candies? Mm. There's a something hidden in these chests, but I just can't figure out how to open all of them. Is that an order? Or is that too easy? Too easy. Puzzles 101. Written by some weird guy named after a type of paper. There's nothing on the table. It looks comfy, but it's the guests. It would be rude to use it. An old armchair. That sure is a pot. Not that one. Not that one. You got one of the house keys. Apparently it was that easy. Obtained a ring of magics. Cool. Is that like an ability thing? Several books your sister left behind, all pertaining to disease study. There's nothing on the table. It's bed, this bed, it used to belong to your older sister before she moved out. So the room wasn't taken care of after she moved out. The ringmaster, an old tale about a bizarre puppet who's kid, who kidnaps people and steals their memories. Did sister become a zombie? Just wondering because it's a bedroom dog. It's an evil pot. Oh. That never netherling just stole the car key. Guess I gotta go after it.
Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. You weren't here. I don't know why, but this netherling suddenly showed up. Netherlings are soulless candy monsters that form from collectivized fear. As far as I know, they've been around the underworld forever. I did that? What did I get? Ah, it dropped the cookie. Got the cookie. Now what are you gonna say? Oh nice, you got rid of it. Those things are always up to no good. Not sure if that was really... I forgot what voice I did for him. Already. I'm very bad with my memory. This here is a regular everyday lamb. Nothing spooky about it. These haunted houses always have a Venus glide trapping. But why? I feel like it's only I was only placed. I feel like I was only placed there because I look scary. But maybe I'm just misunderstood. Man, there's a lot of rooms here. An old grandfather clock. Sometimes your dad likes to joke. And this is actually your grandfather, who's been trapped inside a clock. He, he's joking, right? Dang it, I can't run. Oh, books in bulge. I'm gonna... I don't know how I killed him by healing. It's a table. Oh. You got one of the huskies. What's that? You found the key in the bookcase? Well, I guess it really does pay to examine your surroundings. A potion brewing textbook? It's open to a page about crushing new thumbs. Gross. Your father's desk. Some random papers are strewn about. Okay. An old armchair. An old armchair. A few strange liquids you use during your studies. Memory tonic, belligerent brew, and a pot of blacking. You search the crate and find nothing. Guess I'll head over this way. Doggy. It's your undog, Scruffy. You need to be careful when you leave. He always tries to bolt out the door. Huh? Scruffy has something he wants to give you. You got the flu! Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. Never give me the flu. It looks like he wants to go with you. Tainted a new friend. Okay. Is she gonna help me with battles? Evo pot. I'm a pot that refuses to sit on a table. Since my only purpose to exist is for decoration, at least this way I can be unique. Okay. I'm a table with nothing on it. I tried to get the pot over there to sit on me, 
but he's adamant and not signaling. I admire his resolve, but what am I supposed to do if my only purpose is to hold objects on top of me? Another ghost. Another ghost. I've been, tr I've been trying to get in into broom clo into the broom closet, but this dumb ghost won't let me by. Not only that, none of my attacks do anything to me. I've heard that enemies with red names during battle can't be defeated by normal means. In which case, you should either run or try something else. Thanks. I wish I could find a special object or something I could use against him. Okay, I guess I do a dispute. Hmm. When you're dead, you don't need to eat, but we still do it anyway because it's fun. Really though, I don't get it. Isn't the no hunger thing one of the perks? Got pure fang soul. Not much food here, it's mainly your magic ingredient. I have ball fog, a handful of moon's tears, and a carrot cake that's growing a fungal or eco fig stuff. Cool. Just some silverware. Just some silverware. It's a stove typically used to cook things. This is it's a mop. Some pots and pans are in the cabin. It's a bucket of water. Okay. Anything up here? A big old comfy couch. Or is it a sofa? What's the difference? I really like the skeletons. Sorry I keep looking to the side, that's where my setup is, it's my recording, so I can see how the recording's going. It's a small table, but there's nothing on it. Chair emerged. Attack. Ooh! Nice one, Scruffy! Woof! I can feel power in my bones! Woof! Pots, I did. Got some pot. Obtained a charm of defense. This bookcase is actually a, co a cardboard box painted like a book. Plates, plates, some more plates. Plates, plates, some more plates. Plates, plates, some more plates. The fireplace hasn't been used in a long time. Probably because there's no chimney. I mean, I'll do it. Plates, plates, some more plates. Plates, plates, some more plates. Nothing about any of this? Okay. Guess I'll just continue on. Okay. God. Wait. So some of these doors are not doors. Now her girls demands.
I guess I didn't need to use a purifying salt on it. That was probably a waste. Good thing I still have it. I'm not moving from this spot, so if you want to get by to stop on ghost demands. Stop on ghost is slave. By death, it's a mop. You got one of the house keys. Hey, did you get Did you get rid of that stubborn ghost in the closet? Thanks. I'm about to lose. Oh, what's the matter? My existence is that of a cooked clay. By the way, Alice, I thought I saw your dad put something in the back seat of that hearse. Your dad's hearse. He always liked to drive in style. A big bag of various seeds. Of course, you weren't raising the bone. All the seeds are sorted in many smaller bags. You search the crate and find nothing. You unlock the car door. You search the car. Got a house key. Now that I've got all four keys, Maybe I should go back to my room and save at my bed. Okay. I didn't realize you could actually save the game at your bed. Let's do that. Her room is this one. It looks incredibly comfy. Would you like to save? Yes. In addition to my bed, I can save at any coffins I found along the way. I've not found any coffins yet, so looks like there's a lot more to this game. Um. Lamp emerged. Didn't even need Let's hope I can defeat it. Man. Okay. I 
I don't think it has a red name. But man, it's taking a lot of damage. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I can feel power in my bones. Oof. Nice, we both leveled up. What did I get? Candy. Where are you going? Puppy, Scruffy, come back. Scruffy, come back. I should find Scruffy before he gets himself in trouble again. So it looks like there's a lot more to this game left. Um, therefore, I feel like this would be a great time to end the video. Um, because I feel like there's a good bit more to this story left. So, we will find out next time what all there is left. Um, so far, it looks like there's a lot of puzzles to this game, and it's a, it's a very fun game so far. I'm enjoying it. Um, not quite your typical scary game, but hey, it's titled Horror Veil, so I guess I can count it as a scary game. Um, which is good for me, because I am not a fan of horror games, so this is fun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with another episode of this. If you guys want to continue in the series, um, I should have another one up next week. So thank you guys for what I, I should have another one of this up next week. Um, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.